What's your thoughts on the situation? Uh, I mean, I'm just tired and hungry. I got an eyelash in my eye <laughs> and it hurts. <laughs> That's how our day's been. Forget the boat almost sinking twice in 24 hours. She got an eyelash in her it eye hurts. and it hurts, which I understand that that does suck. So. <laughs> Cassie? Damn it. Sorry, there's no CMs. I don't remember. I think we're going to Destin. And then we're leaving there at 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. Right? Right. Why are we doing that? Because of the tide. And um, sleep. Because of sleep. Um, we're gonna, instead of going out in the Gulf today, we both worked all day. Um, it's gonna be our first time on this boat and at night time. Um, uh, neither of us kind of feel comfortable being alone um, at night out in the Gulf um, when we're both tired as shit. So we're not going to hit the Gulf tonight. We're just going to go through the ICW. We're going to anchor down in Destin in the morning, uh, get a few hours sleep, and then do some sli uh, swimming around Crab Island. And then we're going to pull out of there about 5 p.m. That should be slack tide. It's also going to be around low tide. Um, so we should be able to clear the bridge just fine because I'm really worried about clearing the bridge. And then from there, we got an 80 mile sail over to Port St. Joe area, Cape San Blas. Am I saying that right, Cape San Blas? Yeah, I said something right. Um, and then we're gonna go over there and we should be there Sunday night, drop anchor, get some sleep. And then all the weekend party traffic should be gone over there. And then we should have all weekend, I mean, all week all to ourselves. So we're about to get out of here. You ready? Ready. Ready, we read. We out the pass, not the pass. We out of our marina, beautiful sunset going on behind us couple sailboats out here we're fixing to pull up the head sail and as always it seems like we're going dead into the wind it seems to be a trend with us along with flying just a head sail so we're motoring down the bay so i didn't feel like tacking back and forth there's crab traps all out here and it's a little dark so we're just motoring straight on down once we make this turn at the sound into the icw we should be good to go um, have winds straight coming up from the south. It, um, windy says until about midnight, but then it's going to switch to northeast, which is going to be a little hard because we're going to be kind of going northeast. And then we'll be going east, and then the wind's going to shift again. So, sorry, as long as we get a few hours of sailing through the sound here, we'll be all right. Um, so far, though, it's really smooth out here. It's been like 20 plus knots wind all week long out in the Gulf. With, um, they were saying it's still like eight foot seas out there. That's the reason why we didn't want to go out there. It was supposed to calm down tonight to like five feet, but with us being tired and work, it just wasn't worth fighting. And then trying to be out there, you know, single-handed while one of us sleeps. So take the easy, safe way and we're good to go. Cassie got her hair blowing in the wind. That's something you'll see very often. Look behind. I'm a little too slim. We're about three, four hours into our trip and it looks like our stuffing box is pouring in water. Um, we're trying to find a place to anchor right now and we are going to try to get this stuffing box tightened up and see what the hell's going on with it. Um, and yeah, Cassie came down here to use the bathroom and she was in ankle deep water. Um, we heard him got out the manual pump and turned on to make sure the bilge was running. Our flow switch is bad. So this is a sign that we need to fix our flow switch. But if the flow switch would have been running, we never would have known it was leaking. So I don't know, maybe it's a blessing. Because then we would have just kept going and kept going until the bilge pump burned up. So Yeah. So she came down here, it was about ankle deep. We heard him grab the, the manual bilge pump. Cassie started pumping on the built-in manual bilge pump, but I don't think it works. But we were able to get the water down quite a bit. Um, we're finishing up in the bilge right now. We're fitting the anchor and see if I can't get the stuffing box fixed. Um, I should have grabbed. I shouldn't have grabbed the camera sooner. My biggest priority was getting the water out of the boat, not grabbing the camera. I know some other YouTubers, you know, have those balls, um, selling freedom. You know, gonna grab his camera by his lightning strikes. But you know, I, I'm just not as cool as him. I, I don't have those nerves yet. So, what don't I have? 
<laughs> I don't have the curls for the girls. But that's all right, we got the water out. Um, I'm not even really stressed out about it because I think I know what it is. I think we can get it fixed. We got the water out, we're not sinking. And we're only a couple hours from home. If worst case, there's sandbars around here, we can just run up on a sandbar so we won't lose the boat. So that's a good thing. Um, it's all soft sand here, so worst case, we run up on a sandbar. Um, and then we can do whatever we need to do. So, uh, But we've been to anchor right now, and um, we'll try to get y'all back when we get this get working. The uh, motor's gonna have to cool off before I can even attempt to go in there, so it's probably gonna be a few hours. So, yeah, we're definitely gonna sleep here tonight. Um, and I'll tell you what, this was a sign. And you know what the problem is? Is I didn't have a beer. If that's what it is. It's Miss Liberty saying I didn't have a beer. Because it's what time? It's beer 30. I don't know. And I'm thirsty. I think it's right. Is that not right? Yeah, that's right. Good. Good thing is, is we're not sinking. Cassie's getting cleaned up, getting all the water out of here. There's water in here now. Well, she got the floor pretty dried up. So, and now my build pump switch is acting weird. I have to hit manual for it to work. Um, so, yeah, interesting. So, but yep. We're gonna get this thing cooled off some. Oh my god, woman. Drink a beer. Yep, yeah, we're gonna let it cool off. We're gonna drink a beer. I'm gonna put on some. I don't even know if I have any kind of work clothes in here, but I'm gonna get off these white shorts and I'm gonna lay on top of this motor. Probably put a towel over it and lay on top of the motor. Pray I don't break nothing else because I'm a big guy. I might have to get Cassie in there to be honest. <laughs> Um, see if we can't get that stuffing box tightened up. It actually looks it looks like the maybe the nut actually came off the stuffing box You can kind of hear it rattling in there. So I think it just came loose. So fingers crossed um, We got the stuffing box all tightened back up um, Got the drip to stop. Um, well, it wasn't a drip. It was pouring. So <laughs> we got to stop pouring it was four feet of water. Yeah, we had a bunch of water in here like a bunch. I mean the Bilge goes down like three four feet and that was ankle deep so we had a good four feet of water in here uh took us a long time to get it all pumped out so probably 100 gallons 200 gallons 300 gallons i have no idea <laughs> no idea well the big bilge pump probably pumps five six hundred gallons per hour so and we ran that thing for like 30 40 minutes so and then not to mention all the manual pumping yeah bunch of water but um put it in reverse it's not pouring water everything looks good um so tomorrow we're gonna get some sleep because now it's like almost one o'clock and it's actually one o'clock in the morning so we're gonna drink one more beer then we're gonna get some sleep and then um test it tomorrow and see if it's not pouring water we're gonna keep on with our trip and if it's still pouring water then we're gonna stay on anchor and try to get to not fucking pour water <laughs> i don't know what else to say here youtube yeah, and if nothing else, we'll just sail. We'll just sail everywhere. We'll just get rid of the motor altogether, and we'll just use the dinghy and hip tow it. Well, what? Well, you would still have to have all this hooked up. Oh, you mean sail everywhere? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're gonna take one from Dan and Kika. Kika. And Cheers. Just, just sail. <laughs> we're just gonna sail everywhere. We don't need no damn motor. So, all right, no, but I, I do need a beer. So that was kind of stressful, but I kept my cool. Cassie kept her coolish. I did. She she I did. she stayed cool. Messed she stayed cool. She a cool girl. Ankle deep water in the cabin. But it was only ankle deep water. It wasn't knee deep water. <laughs> it was way too much water to be inside your boat while you're under power and. And yeah, it was not fun, and I hope nobody else has to deal with that. But we think we got it fixed, so I'm gonna drink a beer and then go to bed. Um, later. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. It's not even near as bad now as it was last night. Last night, the wind was blowing so bad, it almost sounded like we were in a wind tunnel. I mean, everything was shaking and howling, and it was just insane. But we're good, and we're not full of water, so I guess. The stuffing box is not leaking anymore. So I'm gonna get Cassie up and we'll start heading on our way. All right, well we're motoring right into these 19 mile an hour winds. And I came down to check that stuffing box to make sure everything was okay. And sure enough, we're taking on water again. Um, the screw, the nut has came loose and it just blows the cord in water. It's really loud.
right, Cassie, what are we finally doing? Sailing. Finally, we're finally sailing. The wind's kind of okay. <laughs> What's that? Put my wood down. Put your wood down. Well, hold on, let me get all your wood. There we go. All right, but we're finally sailing. The wind's somewhat working for us. Um, we're gonna have to tack a couple times, but I think we can clear these sandbars through here. Um, I think we got the stuffing box fixed. We just motored a little bit and the stuffing box is not leaking. So fingers crossed. I think I finally got it fixed. If not, next time, I think it's gonna be JB welded and epoxied and fiberglass. I don't care. Welded, welded, not JB welded. I don't have a welder. You have two welders. Not on the boat. Yeah, okay, well you can make them happen. Yeah, we can we can weld that shit, and we'll never be able to change that fucking stuffing. But that's all right. We'll change it once, and we won't weld it then. Good for thirty years. But we're finally sailing, y'all. How fast? Four, four and a half. Four, four and a half with what? Uh, about three quarters of a head sail. <laughs> there you go. Just a head sail yet again. <laughs> Still going four, four and a half knots as always. So we're gonna do everything we can. We're gonna uma this shit. We're gonna do everything we can, not the motor, to try to save the stuffing box. So when we go in and out the pass, um, even when it was wide open, I mean, it leaks pretty bad, but as long as we know it, it probably took what? Five, six hours to fill up. It took a long time to fill up. So even if we have to motor for a little bit, keep an eye on it, we should be okay. I'm done with this shit. We're fucking going on vacation. Right? Maybe. This happens every time. Only when we go towards Destin. Where else would you go? Why are you turning? Because I got out of my little zone. She got out of her zone. Don't let her get in her zone. <laughs> We just dropped the sails. Um, we're heading through a little spot right past Juana's in Navarre called the Narrows. Um, it's legit just a channel. Everything else on the sides is like one, two, three feet at the deepest. So there ain't no way we were trying to sail through this. But we are at the Narrows now. So what, halfway to Destin? Oh, halfway to Destin. It's been a long day to get halfway to Destin. But that's all right. We're getting it. This is the second time now our boat is completely filled up with water and flooded. Um, first time was the stuffing box. I was able to figure it out. Stuffing box is fine. There's no leaks coming from anywhere around the shaft or the stuffing box. We've been checking it, checking it all day long. There's been no water in there. Instantly, it's just completely filled up. I look down and the boat is fucking full of water. I'm sorry, pardon my language. But it is just full of water and I don't know where it's coming from. We just checked all through holes. Everything's dry. They were all closed except for the drains and the cockpit drains. 
in the kitchen sink. Everything else was closed. We checked the water maker lines. All that's dry. We checked up. There's no um, transducers in it anywhere. I mean, they're all um, glued in, inside. Unless there's some old one we don't know about. I don't know. There might be an old transducer somewhere. And maybe that's where all this water's been coming from this whole time. I don't know. All right, well, we got to get anchored because I got to find this leak. Maybe we can get in some clear water and I can dive under the boat and I can see if there's something going on. It's just weird. This is the second time. The first time I was able to figure out, but I have no idea where this water came from. Stuffing box ain't leaking. Nothing's leaking. What's leaking? Nothing. Nothing. My brain. We can't find any leak on the boat. Checked every through haul, checked, checked everything. All the hoses that go to any line outside, check, we can't find a leak anywhere. But the boat almost instantly filled up with water. Almost instantly, because after the stuffing box incidents, <laughs> incidents, me and Cassie, what have we been doing all day? Checking. Checking. For water. We've been checking all day for water and there's been very little, no more than normal in the bilge, you know, from the little drip from the stuffing box and whatever else might come in over the sides. But I looked down and it was like, holy shit, the whole floor is covered in water. It pumped out really quick. So the water wasn't still coming in. We just don't know where it came from. The only thing I can think of is maybe there's a check valve in one of these hoses or something somewhere that maybe I'm not seeing maybe something with the, I really think it's something with the water maker because I don't know where all the lines go for the water maker. So I'm thinking it's a line with the water maker, maybe has a check valve and maybe it busted open and then it shut back up. That's the only thing I can think of. What's your thoughts on the situation? I mean, I'm just tired and hungry. I got an eyelash in my eye <laughs> and it hurts. <laughs> That's how our day's been. <laughs> Forget the boat almost sinking twice in 24 hours. She got an eyelash in her eye it <laughs> and it hurts, which I understand that does that suck. So, all right, y'all, we're fixing to grill some bratwurst and try to get some sleep because we didn't sleep good at all last night. That was probably the roughest on anchor experience we ever had. I tried to get some video of it, um, but I think it was just pitch black, but <laughs> it was bad. It was so bad where we anchored because the stuffing box was messed up. We had we had no protection. We knew there was going to be no protection. Um, and it was bad. We might as well have been anchored out in the Gulf. There was like four or five foot freaking waves coming through all night long. The boat, it was, it was miserable. Just bouncing. Then the bow would slam down into the waves. It was just miserable as hell. But hey, the anchor held up. We just left our anchorage, had a easy, easy, peaceful day after yesterday. Yeah, had a, some good sleep, got all the water issues fixed. Turns out it was just our water tank emptied. So it's not actually fixed. So it's not fixed, but there's no more water coming in the boat. So Cassie actually is one who suggested this. She goes, what about the water? What about the water? I was like, there's no way it could be the water, even if it leaked out. I mean, it wouldn't come out like, yeah, well, the water tank's empty. Um, our big in-tank one, 70 gallons, 75 gallons, whatever it is in the bilge is completely empty. So all of our water was gone, but we still got the 30 gallon up front. We got the water maker and we got a five gallon jug. So we'll definitely be running the water maker. We'll just fill up the five gallon jug and then fill up the 30 gallon tank and we'll, we'll be good to go. We got it. Um, so after a nice day, we just kind of hung out at the beach and tried to relax because it was it was a stressful start to the trip for sure. Um, thought we were losing the boat twice with all the water in it, but we didn't. Now we got a nice easy sail, like six, seven miles an hour wind. So not much, we're going like three knots, three and a half knots, but that's all right. We're just cruising here in Destin. Got a beautiful lady. All kinds of rental pontoon boats and we're gonna go anchor in Destin Harbor tonight maybe ride the dinghy over to Crab Island for a little bit we're at least up on the sandbar cook some dinner and just relax tomorrow around 5 in the morning we're getting up we're gonna leave at sunrise go out Destin Pass and we're gonna finish our way over to 
Cape San Blas.